Welcome champions to the next overview and tier list ranking, featuring the newest champion. This is where we'll break down their mechanics and place them in my overall tier list for every champion in the game. So let's talk about Strongheart, the lawful good human paladin in seed 11, who serves the party as a support and healer. And while not tagged for it, also comes with some pseudo speed. He stands for all that is good and just, as the antithesis of Warduke. Starting off with his attacks, we're looking pretty simple here. His base attack will have him attack the closest enemy to the formation, while his ultimate will instead target the enemy with the most health. Using the level 1 spell command, ordering it to yield, stunning it for 6 seconds. While the enemy is stunned by his ultimate, all attacks against it will deal an additional 15 seconds worth of bud so it is perfect for taking down a boss. His formation abilities are a nice little combo of being interesting, useful, but simple. And his kit fits right in both Season 3 and Season 4, having an increased passive critical chance of 20% naturally, and being affected by critical hits to sync up with our current Season 4, Legends of Mithril Hall, while being a lawful, unaffiliated champion, mostly, to echo Season 3 sentiment. His support damage buffing formation ability comes in the form of Justice Needs Champions, where he increases the damage of adjacent champions. Rather straightforward. And similarly, his healing comes in the form of Courage to Stand, where he also heals the champions affected by Justice Needs Champions. Sadly, we're still just looking at flat low numbers here, nothing to get excited about healing wise. The pseudo speed, and primarily why you should be interested in him, however, comes from Seasoned Knight, where he increases the progress you make on your seasonal quests. That's right, using this guy will dramatically help you complete your seasonal quests, whether it be daily, weekly, or milestone. For those who missed the unintended bug behind Fen's speed mechanic, here we are with the official intended version. So do not hesitate to unlock Strongheart if you have any particularly hard or grindy quests to still iron out for this season, or for the upcoming dailies and weeklies. He's still got a little more to offer though, through Righteous Might, and why he's particularly good to use with this season's heroes. Because every time he lands a critical hit, for the next 20 seconds, he increases the damage of Justice Needs Champions, the amount of healing provided through Courage to Stand while also reducing the base attack speed cooldown of himself and those affected by Justice Needs Champions, making them all attack faster. So slotting him and taking the critical increases through the likes of Wolfgar and Puent will help him not only solidify maintaining this buff, but each application can stack, each stack falling off on their own 20 second timer. So the faster he attacks, and the higher his critical chance, means scaling his damage buffing through Justice Needs Champions to some great heights. Though he has a high likelihood to upkeep this on his own, so it's not required, but making him attack faster and crit more is a good goal to have if you plan to use him. His specializations are all focused on buffing the power of Justice Needs Champions, but through a unique variety of options in doing so. First through Valor's Call, where he increases the damage of Justice Needs Champions for each good champion in the formation, stacking multiplicatively. A Just Quest, where he will increase the damage bonus for each season level you have gained in the current season. Whatever that may be now or in future seasons, stacking multiplicatively. Further along in a season, this will get rather strong. And lastly, join an affiliation for that run assigning himself to whatever the most populated affiliation in the formation is, and will increase the damage bonus of Justice Needs Champions for each champion of that affiliation slotted in your formation, also stacking multiplicatively. But keep in mind, this is also important for the likes of Nahara and Kent, who will scale their damage based on how many of their affiliation is slotted along with them. Throwing himself in as a member will also succeed in scaling those formation abilities so that they can scale up higher than they would originally be able to. His equipment is right in with the standard these days, increasing all champ damage, justice needs champions, courage to stand, righteous might, his specializations, and ultimate cooldown reduction. This offers some good scaling to his damage buffing, and his feats have a fair amount of options, ranging from increasing all of his formation abilities, 
specializations, ability score increases, flat critical chance increases, and offering a unique mechanic of making his critical hits stun enemies for two seconds. Keep your eye out for the feat, Seasoned Warrior, if you have the extra 50,000 gems to spend, as it will increase his seasonal quest progression by another 100%, the only way to scale it up, and is a must-have if you're looking to push seasonal progression even further. Now let's talk about his event, Founder's Day. This time around we have Strongheart, Nahara, and Sergeant Knox. Interesting in a way, as we're coming down from BBEG, who directly competes with Nahara for speed, and Sergeant Knox can be useful in certain scenarios, but isn't the greatest buffer by any means. Both Strongheart and Nahara don't need investment if you're just looking to unlock them for their speed mechanics. So as far as a hard focus, if you're looking for one, it's really up in the air. I personally think Strongheart is your best bet, unless you otherwise have some specific plans. But as always, remember to full epic all of them to the best of your ability, and keep in mind that this is Nox's last event before he is retired to only be unlockable through time gates. So what about his achievement and variants? His achievement is the first one in a while that might take a bit of a setup, requiring you to hit at least with 20 attacks on the enemy that has been stunned by his ultimate. So you're going to want to increase the attack speed of your heroes and target a healthy, hit-based, or armored target with his ultimate. Area 50 of Strongheart's Adventure can do the trick. His variants follow the now common formula of having him start unlocked in your formation, allowing him to be moved but not removed. The first will only allow those adjacent to him deal damage, which you'll be having him adjacent to your DPS anyway while being forced to use him, no sweat. The second will only allow good champions to deal damage, to align with his good specialization choice. With Season 4 running during this event, it's a great time to use Cadibri or Drizzt as your DPS for this one. And lastly, his third will guide you to taking his Affiliation Specialization, only allowing the most populated Affiliation and Strongheart to deal damage. Again, with him coming out during Season 4, it's a great time to just use the Companions of the Hall for this one. None of these should give anyone any trouble, especially during Season 4. His availability is decent, with access to all Day 1 Trials of Restrictions and all Patrons, though two will require Attribute Feats. He absolutely has a place in your formation for completing seasonal quests, and he can reach some good numbers, but he does have a lot of drawbacks. Namely, he's in Seed 11, where some real key buffers exist, and he's a hard fit for a lot of players. Not a DPS for Artemis, not 16 Strength for Krond, and a human in Seed 11 isn't great for Ashara, though he is a good fit for his previous bro, now enemy, Warduke, with a simple, positional formation ability to work with. Overall, I'd give him a solid A, for his mix of utility, availability, and potential damage buffing capabilities. He's not going to be able to compete with the likes of Averin and Nova for damage buffing, but he does get some potentially decent numbers, if you have a spot for him. Do me a favor and click on that like sub and bell, leave a comment on what you think about Strongheart, and always remember, we are the champions, my, I, I mean, have a hell of a time out there, champions.